think I'm here. Are we here? <clears throat> okay, did that work? That worked. Hey. You're no longer hey. frozen. Hooray. Uh, you were frozen because these were not connected to my phone. My husband's AirPods were connected to my phone. I'm not sure not, why he gets priority, but here we are. <laughs> anyway, good morning. Happy Cyber Monday to you. <laughs> to all who celebrate. <laughs> awesome. Good morning. Hi, everybody yeah. who's here. Look, we've got lots of people already. Thanks for joining, everybody. Oh, that's great. great. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. So I guess, should we just dive in and yeah, let's just give a little update about what in. we've got going on? Yeah. Why don't you go first? I, okay. So my little treat right now is I have uh, Advent skeins up in the sh shop. Um, people who ordered like the first day, which would have been Wednesday, um, it'll ship this Wednesday. Um, for everyone else, I am... It, I have it up as a pre-order and we'll get it in the mail as quickly as possible, but it might be a few weeks, just depending on how soon all my yarn gets here. Um, I called it Bingle Gels, had a little naming um, contest and got some amazing suggestions. But by that point had been singing Bingle Gels in my head all day, so, uh, so I just went with it. Um, so it is a 12, I have two, two versions. One is uh, like a sock version. So there are 12 different colors. So you can make it into a 12, 12 day advent or uh, do whatever you'd like with it. Um, but there's like 12 times four repeats because people have different size feet and are doing different things. So this one is a little DIY advent. And then this is like a hat or cowl version with just 12 stripes total. And what what I think is fun is those have the exact same amounts of the exact same colors, but they look different in this game, uh, just because of how, where the colors are in the yarn. That's fun. Um, those are really cute. So those colors are really cheerful. I like that. They are cheerful. They were not, um, yeah, I had them for a different project a while ago that was something unrelated. And then uh, a couple of weeks ago, looked at them and were like, these are, these are feeling like Christmassy, but not super Christmassy. They just feel cheerful. And um, I think this is the time of year, a little bit of lightness and brightness is nice. Yeah, brighten up so, that December. So yeah. you're a little bit fuzzy. I feel like maybe mm. like not your visually audio. It's like oh. a little crunchy. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, does that change anything? It did ch change it. It's still not perfect, but it's better. Let yeah. me <laughs> No, because now I can't hear you. <laughs> Three muscle bird hats in game is so good for self striping yarn. C S A L knits. Yes. Okay. Catherine, you okay. wanna try again? Is that audio better? Yes, that is better. I like okay. It. There's definite background sounds here, but maybe they're just getting filtered out. Yeah, I don't uh, hear yeah, any background okay. sounds. Thank you That's for better. Thank, yeah. thank you for that. Yeah, of um, course. Yeah, so I've got some Advent yarn, and, and some people who've been really paying attention may remember you and I had <laughs> talked, hinted at maybe that we were going to do a sort of Advent collaboration, and um, that'll be for next year, I think. Yeah. The stars did not align on that one, but. Uh, but you've but also got some stuff this week. Something else that is back. Um, do you want to talk about the twinkle that will be back for? That's the sort of collaborative thing for yeah. us, yeah. Yes, and I should have. Hold on, now I have to turn up my sound. Uh, yes, and I should have had a skein of that so I could reach for that too. Uh, do, there I we go. Have been. <laughs> so I um, pulled out this yarn I don't know a few months ago because I needed a project for while I was sitting listening to a climbing lecture and um, so I passed on my sun and moon socks and I just knit them without the color work and this is the 72 stitch sock 
I took it with me to visit family in the States because um, uh, those folks were having Thanksgiving, which I love to have two Thanksgivings. Um, and my cousin saw this and was like, oh, that's cute. And so I measured her foot. And once I knit the second sock, that will be for her. And this skein was the version for our Sax Point socks. So it has um, gray. Actually, let me turn it this way. It has gray for um, a color work bit and also the beige in the middle beige. was also for color work, which um, I think I'm just gonna skip. It depends on how far I get in the second sock. It could be that the, the ha second half of her foot is gray or something, but I think that will be very special and charming anyway. Sometimes when I get started with the self-striping, I just like, keep going. I don't bother with like adding contrasting heels or toes. I'm just like the whole thing. I just like to keep knitting with one yarn. So that's uh, Sun and Moon in our Twinkle yarn, which was designed to go with the Sax Point pattern. Mm -hmm. So the Sax Point pattern has a chart that's a little floral one and then a bonus holiday chart, which is little lights. So um, and Sex Point, speaking of it, is on sale right now, just till the end of the day. So I don't know if you all have been following the Indie Design Gift Along on Ravelry, um, but I am also having an off Ravelry sale. So um, I'll actually, I can tell you what the codes are to get that sale if you didn't get it in my Instagram or in my newsletter, which it is in both. But um, I have to check my iPad so that I tell you right. But um, I was say, and I will. I do get your newsletter, but I'm going to write it down so that I can add it to the caption. Okay. So I will just check my iPad here real quick to make sure that I actually can say it right. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about was that the sale is 25% off. And it's on Ravelry and um, there's a different code for my website because the Ravelry folks don't want to get things mixed up. But um, but yeah, you can get both. Uh, there are 20 patterns that are on sale. The code for my website works for everything because I couldn't select certain patterns. So if you want other patterns for 25% off, today is the day to do that. And the code is for the Ravelry. It's gift along 2023 on Ravelry. So if you want to shop on Ravelry, 25% off 20 of my most popular patterns, including the sex point socks, which go with the cute twinkle yarn. And then on my website, it's just gift knitting one word. So if you want to get in on a sale today is a good day to do that because I don't have 25% um, off sales very often at all mm -hmm. so um but the other cool thing about the Ravelry sale if you're on Ravelry is that there are like I don't know at least a hundred other designers probably more um who are also having a sale at the same time and they have a lot of really cool stuff so in today's newsletter um I linked to the list there's a Ravelry thread of all the designers who are participating so you can shop from them too and I definitely there's a lot of cool stuff on there. So I encourage you to see everybody else who is participating in the sale. Um, so you've got Sax Point, which we used. So that Twinkle Yarn, that was our um, kind of holiday collaboration from a few years mm -hmm. ago. Uh, what other patterns that people might have in their queues? What other patterns do you have? Yeah, the going? Knitter's Dude patterns, both the grown up version and the little version are on sale and the descent patterns all of them the pullover the um, cardigan and the uh hat are all on sale um i also have the checklist of bird socks so i'm not mm. sure if you have that yarn in your shop right now but i, I do often. yeah okay so if you want more gauge self striping wonder then we have the checklist of bird socks which is a very fun data visualization pattern of common birds in our area and also just really cute. And um, another pair of socks is the these floral socks, all over floral socks. Um, 
wild garp well actually now i can't remember the name of my own pattern but it's in there um the witty's trail mitts are also on sale which are like text some really cute little textured mitts and um speaking of checklist of birds i'm going to show another gauge modification adaptation mm -hmm. which is the socks that i made from 76. <laughs> i love those so, um those are hippos and that's from my book alternate has the hippos in it and uh i basically just knit the checklist of bird socks without like the extra chart stuff from the toe up did all the checklist stuff up to the leg i did a one by one rib leg and then i just used some white yarn for the background color of legs and what i kind of love i do not like i said i like do not need my socks to match and i don't need to have like you know the toes and heels be different so i just kept going but like i think it's so cute that we've got some yellow hippos and some green hippos <laughs> and oh, like, this turned out great. they're coordinating but not matching so that's the yarn is 76 um and I find this to be like the cheeriest rainbow on earth and adding hippos is like these are my cheerful socks. If I ever need some sunshine, I've got those cheerful socks. Those are amazing. Oh, amazing. and I will say one more thing. The sweater I'm wearing today is called Sea Blush and it is also on sale. So if you need some sweater knitting, some gorgeous fingering weight, top down yoke sweater knitting, this could be just the thing. Beautiful. So, um, I feel like that I was going to say, I think that's it. And that, um, the other thing I'm just going to throw in here right at the end is that, um, Andrea and I will have a club together next summer. Yes. So like, we'll start talk talking about that around May or something, but I'm going to do just a yarn only, uh, club where, where signups will be open the last couple weeks of December and then it'll ship in the new year so i have a bunch of stuff planned out but things i don't have planned out are when people would like it to ship last year we did um like january and then march and then may i think to give a bit of extra time to actually work on projects um but i think i'll just maybe put it in my story soon um get some feedback and see what people would like um because that is a nice uh, treat to yourself or treat to the knitter in your family um, or not in your family, in your circle. Uh, so that's coming up in sooner than I think it is, because December is this week. I know, yeah. but can't believe it. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say one more thing, but before I do, um, if you have questions or thoughts about like our patterns that are on sale or the yarns that are available in the gauge shop, Go ahead and put them in the comments um, while I'm talking so we can answer those. Uh, I was just gonna add, oh wait, here we go, we got one already. Where can I get this yarn here in Europe? I'd like to avoid import taxes. Love your yarn. Go. Well, thank you. And that is a great question. And unfortunately the answer is nowhere. Um, I don't do any wholesale, which means um, you do end up having to deal with customs and import charges and and um yeah which is unfortunate um but that's at the moment that's what makes sense for us so, yeah. yeah okay good good to know and um i was just gonna say i'm gonna plug my stitch dictionaries for yes. holiday gifts before we go so um, if you have not yet gotten your hands on or shared with other people, I would just encourage you that we've been getting lots of really nice feedback about the books and um, they would be great for a gift for you or your friends. Mm -hmm. And we've got what yarn weights. Um, so the yarn weights uh, are fingering weight. I think they're all fingering, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to... Um, yeah. I work with almost exclusively fingering weight because that tends to be what people want. But we, um, I do have um, 
have tried a bit of sport in DK in the past and do have some worsted weight in the shop right now. And Andre and I sometimes do a worsted weight collaboration mm -hmm. because I think that's one of the reasons people don't really know what to do with self-striping worsted weight. Um, so having a pattern that comes with it solves that problem. Right. Yeah. And you just went to grab something? What did you? I went to grab books. Oh, yes. Just because I'm like, look at how tempting they are. Look at how beautiful. <laughs> so these books are companions to each other. That means that they have like a bunch of motifs and a bunch of different motifs, but also a lot of different information. Um, so if you are interested in kind of like figuring out how to add multiple motifs to your knitting um, and kind of combine motifs, maybe modify them, Knit Ovation is probably for you, especially if you're interested in yarn choice and how different yarns impact your color work. And if you want to just kind of start at the beginning and add like one motif repeating around your knitting, then Alternate might be the one for you. But also if you get a chance to just flip through in your local bookstore or yarn store, I had somebody ask me at my last signing, like, which one, how should I pick which one if I only want one? And my suggestion really is like, look through and see which motifs, like which book has more motifs that kind of grab you. So they're different. So if you have one of the books that has more motifs that are up your alley, and if you need like tea time or socks on your socks, then you know, you'll know which one to get. So this one is knit ovation with the tea time and the socks. And I mean, I love the hummingbirds. I think they're so cute. And why not have bags of money? <laughs> Who knows why not? I mean, come on. So, um, yeah, toilet bound, we know. So those are um, my books and my, my required plug to encourage you to have a look if you haven't already. So yeah, I think that looks Excellent. like we've covered things and I don't see any more questions. No, I think that's a pretty solid update from both of us. Both of Andrea's books are beautiful. So you can't go wrong with either one. I don't think I could pick a favorite, so. Me neither. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess that was quick today, but that's lovely. That's what we're up to for November and the holidays coming up here. And uh, I hope you all shop the sale and oh, have the first thank you. And that K West, I appreciate that a lot. And again, if you wanted to shop on Ravelry, the code is gift along 2023. And that works for all the patterns that are on sale from a bunch of designers. And on my website, the code is gift knitting, one word. So, yay. Uh, Knit City Toronto. Um, no, I don't have any plans to be at Knit City. Catherine, no? No, I, uh, I would love to go just as a person, <laughs> um, but I, uh, no, um, I will not be, Gage will not be at Knit City Toronto, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, if you wanna kinda just, hang out uh, and ask questions via Zoom. I will be um, doing the Makers Night for Makers Mercantile on uh, December 5th. And that's, I think, 5 to 6 p.m. There's information on my website if you click on events. And that the link to my website is in my profile on Instagram or andrearangel.com. So that's a place that I'll be virtually soon. Alrighty. Well, uh, nice to talk to you, Andrea. Thank you everyone yeah. for joining us. Um, and I guess we'll do this again next month. Sounds good. Thanks right. for the update. Thanks. See ya. Thank you. Bye.